to my channel so for today's video we're gonna be doing something that's kind of like sweat proof and will like actually stay on the whole day I'm gonna try to go step by step and kind of show you some tips and tricks like always how to better your makeup and make it last longer starting off I'm going to start off with my eyes and I am going to be using a palette that might not be from the drugstore but you can get it at Ulta so it is the 35O palette by morphe starting off i'm going to be grabbing this shade right here and this is going to be used for my transition shade applying some to the outer v packing it on and then lightly dragging it across the lid back and forth back and forth building this shadow up applied that color i'm going to be grabbing this brown darker brown shadow and this is kind of more of like a red brown so i'm just going to be picking that up with a fluffy morphe brush and doing the same concept but with this one we're just going to be applying it a tad bit lower than the first shadow we're just trying to start building up some shadow to create some definition to the eye. Go back in with a clean brush and just blend everything out. But for this eye look, I wanted to make it something more natural and simple because I know a lot of people don't like to go like out. On their makeup i want to go just a tad bit darker so i'm going to be grabbing this shade right here and this one we're going to start building up the darkness in the outer corner so that's just like a dark brown and i'm going to be grabbing it and just applying it to the outer v of your eye or like the outer corner and just start building up the shadow It's kind of hard to say build it up to this amount or keep building it up because just like I said, a bunch of people don't like having a dark shadow, don't like playing around with dark shadow, which is fine. So we're going to just drag this shadow all the way across. I am praying that my camera is focused, to be honest. I hate that. Sometimes I'm doing my makeup and I don't even know if my camera is focused or not. Go in with the first brush that we went in with and I'm going to start blending out the harsh edge. It is super important to blend out the harsh edges so it won't look rough. We're going to be grabbing the white matte shade and we're going to be cleaning up our brow bone. is we're gonna cut our lid fully and this is such a procedure that you guys probably know by now because I do it all the time I love full-on cut creases or like half cut creases so I'm just gonna grab my healing concealer and this is a fit me one and this one is in shade 15 doing this we're gonna help the color that we're gonna be applying be more defined and vibrant so this is a great help for the lid shade that we're going to be applying I'm look up and i'm going to be grabbing the white shade that we use for the brow bone with the same flat brush and i'm just going to set that concealer so it won't move around or crease honestly it is your choice of pop of lid shade that you want to use so you can either go for like a gold 
you can either go for more of like a rose gold a more pinky one so honestly it all depends on what you want to do the third shade right here this is more of like a white pinky shimmery shade I'm gonna swatch it I hate how this has like no top to it I literally broke it because this is my holy grail I use this all the time even for client work because of the neutrals but this is how the shadow looks like it's just like a shimmery white pinky iridesc iridescent shade shadow should look like i am not going to be doing eyeliner because i think eyeliner is not really simple i feel like a bunch of people don't know how to master the liner yet if that makes any sense but don't worry i'm on that page too sometimes i can master eyeliner within seconds and then sometimes i take like five years just to do like one wing i'm going to be doing gold glitter today and this is going to go around my crease like just on top of it just to kind of create a little more like shimmer and more like sexiness to the look so for today's glitter i'm going to be going in with the nyx liquid crystal body liner in 101 and it's just this one i'm pretty sure you guys seen it all the time it's the gold one for lashes it literally all depends on what you guys personally like if you like more dramatic more natural lash personally you guys already know my holy girls would be dramatic lashes so I do have two options. One options, one option is from Kiss. These actually are from yeah, they're from Kiss. I hate how like they don't even say anything from Kiss. But these ones are in style camisole. And they look like that. They're really pretty. They weren't really calling me in the beginning, and then I, I tried them on and like I fell in love. And then obviously the next style would be by Dodo Lashes and you can get these online and they're super, 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 super cheap. They're like five bucks. You can use my discount code and you can like, I think take 10% off style D105 and they look like that. They're more, as like I said, dramatic. I think I'm gonna use these instead of the Kiss ones. I'm gonna do like a little bit of moisturizing here on camera. I never really show you guys what I use to moisturize my face. I just kind of use the primer here on camera, but I'm quickly gonna show you what I've been loving. And this one is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. Oh my gosh, that is like a tongue twister. And this is how it looks like. I've been using this for like a month or so and i have oily skin so that means whenever i moisturize my face i really can't use like a cream consistency of like a moisturizer i have to use like a gel because my face will literally get oily in like 0.3 seconds which totally sucks because i used to be obsessed with uh i forget what it's called but it's by neutrogena and it's a cream consistency I forget what it's called, but I used to be obsessed with that and I noticed that my face would get really oily and it's because of that. So I started using this and I'm obsessed. So if you have oily skin, I definitely recommend you guys to use a gel consistency moisturizer or if like you just want to try this out because this thing is like refreshing. I feel my face hella hydrating and it's like the good hydrating. It's not going to like lead you to oiliness even if you have oily skin. So, talking about oily skin and the whole shabam of oil. So, I wanted to make my base today really like glowy and like within glow. So, what I've been using is this Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer as well. And this is like, I got this for like my birthday from Sephora. And it literally is just like a moisturizer, but it has like... A glow to it so it's really like I don't know but I like to use this all around like where I would usually apply my glow so mostly like on my cheek area and on my nose but this guys it doesn't leave your face feeling oily so you can put a gener like you can put a little bit amount on your forehead and you'll be fine because it won't leave your face oily so i like to just put some on my cheekbones my nose 
my chin a little bit just kind of giving it me a within glow finally after that we're going to jump into primer and my two primers that i want to show you that will literally last you the whole entire day first of all my favorite one it would be the wet and wild primer i've been using this forever i think i started with this primer i noticed like the huge change in my makeup routine once i started using this primer so i definitely recommend it what is my hair doing and personally i use this on my clients as well so i do work with oily skin dry skin and honestly i have no complaints this far i definitely recommend it for anyone who has oily or dry skin or like combination skin it like smooths out your face your pores minimizes them this is a way to go literally and it's from the drugstore so we're going to apply this on and then my second primer that i really really have been enjoying ever since i did my haul is the elf prep and blur stick and this is how it looks like it literally is like a blur stick so you would just apply this on to like your pores area and you can literally see kind of like a shield on top of your pores like it fills your pores in and it like blurries them out this one is the matte and poreless by maybelline and this one is in shade 118 right now i'm like literally in between 118 115 i have like a little color in me so i've been using this and what i love about this is that like there is a dewy version and there is a matte version for oily girls just like myself so i love using the matte version and i love how buildable it is it literally is medium to full coverage if you can build it up and you won't feel cakey that's what i love about it you can put two layers on it even like three i believe and you won't feel like you have a makeup as much makeup on your face one i want to talk about is the wet and wild photo focus foundation and this one is in color soft beige and i recently just had to repurchase this because i ran out of my old one but basically i think that it's like the same thing so it is buildable super lightweight and it's photo focus so like their whole photo focus collection is like photography flash proof so like if you take a photo with flash you won't have flashback which is a bonus for graduation any type of occasion so what i'm going to be doing today i'm just going to be using this one for today's video but i wanted to show you two options Be showing you two options and first one would be the makeup revolution concealer this has been like my og concealer i'm running out i just ordered a new one so we're all good and this one is by ColourPop as well this one's super lightweight but they're both super full coverage this one is more lightweight than this one this one's actually very comparable to the tarte shape concealer i actually have a review on it so if you guys are interested the link will be down below but i'm going to just be using the colourpop no filter concealer today i'm just going to set that with my powder and a powder that i recommend all the time that has no flashback it literally makes your face, your foundation, your cream, your um, concealer stay on the whole day. And it would be the Airspun Powder. Another one I definitely recommend would be the Rimmel Stay London Stay Matte Powder. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't even talk. The powder and this one, is, I think it just recently came out because... I haven't seen it until I bought, purchased it, but this one is an 001 transparent and I'm obsessed with this. It has no flashback as well. So these two are great alternatives for either or. For bronzer today, I'm going to be using either or. So my first one would be the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This smells so, so good. Like, I think I can just like bathe in it. Like, it smells like coconut and it smells really good. And this one is in deep bronzer the only thing i do want to say is that their colors aren't as dark like this one is supposedly i think the second to darkest and it's not even dark because i'm using it 
And then the next one would be the e.l.f. bronzer and this one is in forever sun kissed And this one actually just came out as well, but i'm obsessed with it So either or would be good. I think i'm just gonna mix in both And we're gonna just start bronzing up our face slash contouring and bringing back some light back and really chiseling our cheekbones. Right now we're kind of matte and like I said I wanted this to be more glowy so I'm gonna go in with the elf drops now these ones are in illuminating they really don't have a any any like information about it sometimes that's why I hate about elf they don't have information so I really can't tell you guys much but I'm gonna just dab it onto my hand the back of my hand grabbing my sponge and I'm just gonna be applying just a tiny bit to where I would usually highlight and you can notice it right away that I'm giving myself some glow some liquid glow go in with blush and my favorites are the Milani Luminosa which is my favorite one my number one and then I honestly love the wet and wild mellow wine put mix both of them so grabbing some milani and grabbing some wet and wild point like i always say we might be feeling a little cakey a little too powdery so i like to go in with my mario badescu spray now this is like a setting spray primer girl you get out of the shower go to sleep type of spray like I'm obsessed with the spray so I just like to spray it and then bounce the <coughs> bounce the spray in my skin like really melt it and push it in and with some highlighter and for today I'm going to be using the golden flower by wet and wild I kind of forgot what it was I literally hit pan but I'm just like obsessed with this highlighter and the illuminating drops that we put under it's going to make this highlighter the powder highlighter really pop out and stand out so that's another reason why we applied them on back at it again with our eyes and i'm just going to be applying some of the this orange shade and then this one to my lower lash line, first the shadow part. This Lash Paradise, and this one is the waterproof one. I do have the regular one, but this one is waterproof, which I definitely recommend more. And this one is by L'Oreal. favorite one would be creeper yeah creeper by color pop but i'm not too sure if i want to do a red lip i wish you guys could help me and then you could do obviously a gloss i don't think i want to do a gloss because it's kind of windy and my hair is like psh, psh, no and then the nude this is such a hard decision i think i'm liking it I have to get a little used to it, but I'm not sure yet. So for setting spray, I only recommend one setting spray. And if you guys are OG followers, you guys would know what it is. And it's the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. There is a Make It Dewy one, but I have oily skin, so I love the matte one. If you have dry skin, I definitely recommend you guys to get the Make It Dewy one. But I'm just going to really spray my face down. I'm going to really push it in and lock everything in place. This is it for today's makeup tutorial slash for graduation, any type of occasion. You guys, I hooked it up for you guys. I gave you two options of mostly everything. And 
that's literally what I love to do. I love to help you guys. I love to give you tips and tricks to better your makeup, to make your makeup last all day through everything. So if you guys liked this video and you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. Don't forget to leave me down in the comment section your comments and also any other video requests that you guys would like me to do. I'm always open to new ideas. Love you guys all so very much and I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye, babes.